Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is The Raptor and welcome back to another one of my reaction videos. So today I'm going to be reacting to the new Death Battle which just came out, which I believe is Mob vs. Tatsumaki from Mob Psycho 100 and One Punch Man. I believe I'm saying all that correctly. Um, so I'm just gonna say right now, I really know nothing about these characters, like nothing at all. Um, I've heard of One Punch Man, but I've never heard of Tatsumaki before. Um, just cause I really, I know like only like the primary characters from One Punch Man, or maybe even just like the really primary characters. I don't know how popular she is in the show. Maybe she's really popular. I don't know. And I've never heard of Mob or Mob Psycho 100 ever before. Um, so I really don't know what to say for this fight. I don't like have any sort of preference or anything like that um in terms though of like because i've watched the previews i watched the previews for these characters and the preview for the animation in their death battle cast because i wanted to get a feel of what these characters are about and from the looks of it i'd want to say i'd be rooting for tatsumaki just because you know one punch man i actually know what one punch man one punch man is but at the same time um Mob is like, I think I just like his personality more and I like his whole thing more, or at least from the limited stuff I know about it, because Tatsumaki seems kind of like, she seemed kind of mean, uh, she doesn't seem very likable, honestly, and there's the whole kind of like Vegeta-esque thing that she believes she's the most powerful of them all or whatever, but I don't know, I feel like Vegeta kind of does it better. I don't know, maybe, I, I'm not trying to offend anyone by saying this, if you like Tatsumaki, go over right ahead, like, you're, you probably know more about her than I do, it's just from first impressions, so I really don't know who to root for here, and I don't know who I think is going to win, I want to say that just because Tatsumaki is a One Punch Man character, she's probably really freaking strong, but I heard that Mob, like, when he gets up to, like, 100 or whatever, like, he basically is ridiculously powerful, so I really don't know what to say, I'm, this is my only source of information, really, um, also, my box is a little weird today, like, my face box it's it's much more of a rectangle so you can't really see all of my head i'm sorry about that i don't know what's going on i've been trying to fix it but i can't um so hopefully i can fix it next time or maybe this is the way things have to be and if so then that kind of sucks um and i really 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 hope that i can actually put this on youtube and i don't have to do a redirect to google drive because for the past two death battles i've had to do that and it freaking pisses me off um because like there's no reason why i shouldn't be able to upload it but you know sometimes youtube gets drunk so you know fingers crossed I'm doing it a little later than I normally do. I hope that doesn't have anything to do with it. That's kind of stupid if it does. But regardless, let's just get right into it. I'm excited either way. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by 23andMe. Also, my new phone again. like picks Everybody up audio quality way better than my last one. Than um, this started for Please, Aang versus Edward. You couldn't hear me at all. Like you could only hear the um, the audio of the actual Death Battle. So um, and I'm I'm just making sure you guys can actually hear this properly. I'll be able to review it. I'll be, I'll be able to confirm that. But like for me, this is very quiet. I don't know if it's very quiet for you guys, but it's pretty quiet for me. So whenever I talk, I like really miss whatever is being said. So that makes me not want to talk as much, but then like, I want to make this a different video from the original. Also, link in the description of the original video. Make sure you go check it out. Yeah, see, this is very quiet for me. I hope you guys can hear it okay. There are plenty of talented people in the world, but even then, only a select few have the honor of being called Prodigy. But being a prodigy can get to one's head. Or one's head, if you know what I'm saying. Because, you know, the guy who made both these yeah. characters is called Yeah, I heard one. about that. That's so, really cool. Yeah. They're both his Mob, creations. The reluctant psychic powerhouse from Mob Psycho 100. And Tatsumaki, I think the, the score for this is called 100%. From one Punch Man. Or the song. And I, I checked the animation, like the preview of the animation, and I really like it. <laughs> so I'm really excited for, um... For the animation. As a citizen of Seasoning City, you would probably now, I've already seen this part because again I watched the uh, preview, the but I want to make sure I pay attention because I probably so forgot some stuff. Of the century, Reagan. But you probably wouldn't think twice about this plain-looking boy with a bowl cut, Shigeo Kageyama. Long story short, I don't think I'm going to remember that name. Calling him Mob. He's the kid you picked last for dodgeball. He's just sort of there. Taking up space and stealing your air. <laughs> Aww, that's not nice. As mob, which means and He's only 14. Naturally, everybody calls him that. So you might be surprised to learn that he accidentally took over a local gang, unintentionally founded his own cult, and is an incredibly powerful psychic warrior. Don't yeah, get it mixed up. when this you told me that in the preview, I was very surprised. Mob doesn't really I usually don't want to watch the previews. He's just out there trying to but for this one, I really wanted to know more about the characters. Club, which he sucks horribly at. 
Oh, come on, man. Running's not that hard. Take it from me, and I've got a shotgun for a leg. Mob stamina zero percent. Still, when his life is in danger or his friends need protecting, Mob's psychic ability manifests as something truly phenomenal. Yeah. He's mega powerful. He might not be able to run a mile without fainting, but he totally <laughs> can if he boosts his body psychically. He can fly through the air, fling objects all over the place, throw psychic energy attacks, lift giant buildings, cause cities, oh, wow. spinning earthquakes, whip up huge twisters, and more. I do He's remember this from the preview. He's not just an offensive powerhouse. He can mold his psychic energy around his body as a shield. While this isn't an uncommon technique in Mob's world, it's incredibly useful for him in particular, as he's one of okay. the few psychics who can actually attack and defend simultaneously. Oh, wow. Like I'm trying to read all the stuff in the sidebar, too. I don't know how much of it I actually got. Oh, talk about weird looking. Wiz, you sure he's not just like tripping balls or something? No, but you're kind of on the right track. These psychic really? powers are directly linked to emotions. The more sad, angry, rejected, and so on that you feel, the more powerful your psychic abilities become. That makes sense. Hey, Wiz, it's a popular punch trope. Me. What? Punch me! I need to get really angry so I can do psychic stuff. God damn it, Boomstick. Really? My grand can hit harder than you. Wow. You think it'll work <laughs> if I'm just so embarrassed about punch having a metal arm. like you? Yep. <laughs> Regardless, the fact that Mob's psychic powers are drawn from his emotions is a conundrum in and of itself. See, when Mob was a child, an attempt to use his powers wound up injuring his younger brother. Oh. This tragedy would scar Mob forever, terrifying him of his own ability. As a result, he suppressed his emotions for years. Oh. But just like a needy ex, they'd still boil up in bad situations. So he feels Us readers got to see them rise with a handy percentage counter. When mm -hmm. it hits 100%, Mob goes all out like a super saiyan. He can even absorb psychic energy while in one So it's 100% a ton of different weakness. Mob's Limit. Emotions. Far from it. Suppressing his powers had an unprecedented effect on his psyche. His power Dang, I can't read all of this. of its own within Mob's mind, representative of his repressed self. And when things get real bad, it takes over his body in a blind rage or blind sadness, uh, whatever he's feeling at the time. Yeah. In this unmeasurable state, Mob's true prowess is revealed, and it's extraordinary. His sheer psychic aptitude increases at an alarming rate, including his absorption ability. My powers are being right, I read that in the sidebar. All of the energy in the atmosphere. Are you telling me his vessel is able to handle this much? And while he is often unconscious while his inner self takes over, his questionable state will continue trying to achieve whatever his most recent objective may be. Whether that's taking on the criminal organization Claw or confessing how he feels to his crush. Alright, I get oh. it. The guy's super strong. So let's figure out just how much psychic power he's got bottled up. Check this out. While smashing this ugly joke through a building, he went from zero to kick ass so fast he caught fire. Oh, taking wow. Speed, literally. To get this result, he would have to be reaching an ablation speed over five times the speed of sound. Damn. Fast, but not as fast as a bolt of lightning, which he was quick enough to catch with his shield. That's not all. What? In his duel with Claw's boss, Toichiro, Mob so fast enough to react to lightning? Rushing hit, scaling this massive handprint crater to a nearby building, that one, and applying the <laughs> fragmentation of rock, that one. he found Mob survived an attack worth over 80 tons of TNT. 80 tons nah, of TNT. In the same fight, he psycho-lifted hundreds of buildings into the air. Look at that thing! Shoot. Suddenly, I have an unshakable urge to go play Doesn't your average skyscraper weigh like hundreds of thousands of tons? Not only is that millions of tons of stone and concrete, but simply creating this orb pushed away the clouds. Okay, I know what you're thinking. What? Guys, that's not impressive. Clouds are just fluffy No, that's impressive. Now I hear you. I thought so too. But turns out, that's not true at all. Unfortunately, to move clouds in real life, you need a freaking hydrogen bomb. So it's quite impressive when on another occasion, Shoot. Bob gathered all these clouds himself. By measuring the area and multiplying by average cloud density, this feat comes out to around 30 gigatons of TNT. 20 times. So is that like how powerful a telekinesis is? The nuclear warheads in the world. 30 gigatons. Granted, Mob isn't all powerful. For example, once while absorbing an explosive attack, he reached a definitive limit. Though he compensated by redirecting all that psychic energy into some broccoli seeds. With interesting results. Oh man, um, it's gonna be hard to hide oh, that one on okay. the table. In time, Mob eventually reconnected with his repressed self, 
fully accepting his past and his powers. So look out, he may look like a total dork, but this is one middle schooler you don't want to try stealing lunch money from. Can you feel it? Right. Okay, Burning. I don't know if this is my fault, but I feel like I haven't picked up too much on like his actual abilities. In a world filled with monsters and villains which threaten the survival of humanity I on hope a I daily can basis, get it all. it's a stroke of luck that mankind has its fair share of saviors in the form I of superheroes. That. Yep. And some of these heroes are so powerful they can crush all the baddies without even laying a finger on them. These are espers, superhumans who possess powerful psychic abilities. And yeah. one of them is a girl named Tatsumaki. Ah, ah, what the? Is yeah, that real? Yeah. Why did she have cinnamon rolls stuck <laughs> in her face? Well, let's just say one is more well known for his excellent storytelling than, say, mm -hmm. his art. Yeah. Regardless, Tatsumaki's psychic abilities were extraordinary. And Even Tatsumaki needs age, tornado, right? So much so, she was taken from her family to be detained and studied at a Oh, she's way old. She's twice as she old as seven mom. Years old. So, not the best childhood, obviously. Nope. Lucky for her, she got out thanks to a surprise rescue by the hero called Blast. Who blasts things, I guess? Sure. Uh, no one really knows. Yeah, other from Either the preview, way, I Blast's never heard of Blast. Blast Tatsumaki's life forever. And he left her with one very important lesson. When the time comes, don't expect someone to save you. That's kind of harsh. He is supposed to be a superhero, right? Yeah. Whether it be she was inspired Though I kinda by get his it. heroism or torn by his contradiction, Tatsumaki you know? decided to take up hero work for herself. Thus, she took up the mantle, Tornado of Terror. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Doesn't that sound more like a supervillain name? It does, Maybe doesn't it? Kind of like Whirlwind well, from she is Marvel. The best at what she does, and she Tornado Terror it. would have been a cooler so name, I feel. Seems arrogant and rude. Though it is very With much an anime name. She often floats above her opponents, looking down on them literally and figuratively. See, this is why I don't her like her. Thing to do is throw rocks at the people. arrogance is Big way rocks, too much small for rocks, me. Rocks from outer space. Doesn't matter if it's fake oh, wow. rock shape, it's flying at you. But she doesn't discriminate. She's also <laughs> fine throwing other things like trains, schools, people, even a giant octopus. Not only that, but okay. she can alter the direction of gravity, create town spanning barriers. Sorry, what was that? Did, did that say alter the direction of gravity? Like trains, schools, people, even a giant octopus. Not only that, but she can alter the direction of gravity, create Whoa. town spanning barriers, twist up a human body, cause magnitude eight level earthquakes, and spin up enormous Shoot. whirlwinds. Fitting for her namesake. And yeah. that's not even half of it. She's the most powerful esper of them all. It looks like she can make her bigger sister, earthquakes than actually that's her mom. younger sister. Her wait, what? Man, anime is real confusing. It is. Once given it? her past, even with her sister beside her, Tatsumaki has some serious trust issues. She doesn't even want Fubuki to have friends. Chill out, lady. Yeah, friends that's important. Right, Come on. Liz? I'm sorry. What? Oh. How I met your mother. Well, he had his chance. Anyway, manipulating objects and organisms Ouch. is only part of her skill set. Tatsumaki's power truly shines when it comes to precision. Oh yeah, okay. she's so talented, she can use her crazy mind power to have full control over television! Uh, yeah, sure, but that's not really what I had in mind. Re is that what she can do that? Change! Well, Tatsumaki has that's some crazy, control though. over a person's chi, or as it's known in traditional Chinese culture, Boom stick, stop. You're distracting if me. If she can overpower her opponent, she can use their own chi to disable or even kill them. Their I own chi. I'm psychic! Against other oh, geez, okay. No, wait, no, no, wait. Energy. Hang on, did I miss that? He Opponent, changed the channel? Yeah, he did, okay. <laughs> I actually did not see that. I did it! <laughs> I'm psychic! Against she used their own chi against she them. Her own energy to redirect theirs and even suppress their powers in an instant. Yeah, Lady hmm. Tornado can block Sorry, I'm backing up one more time. Is that just I'm espers psychic. or is that... Against other espers, she can spiral her own energy to redirect okay. theirs and even is Mob considered an esper, an though? Yeah, Lady Tornado they're leaving this really ambiguous. Whenever she wants, so long as they're a weaker esper than her, which basically means everyone. One Punch Man meet the One Thought Woman. Seriously, one this thought chick woman. is so powerful she pulled a meteor from outer space. Well, while that move is pretty well known, it technically is not canon to the original source material. However, that doesn't mean it's off the table. As it turns out, her other accomplishments prove she's more than powerful enough to pull it off. Really? Just look at her lifting up this. Uh, 
What am I looking at here? Good question. Thankfully, one was kind enough to include these lovely labels identifying Z City and an underground hideout. Now, oh. Tatsumaki is psychokinetically lifting the entire hideout, which was previously stated to reach over 1,500 meters deep. Damn. As for the city, the world of One Punch Man is based on real life locations in Tokyo. So at the very least, we could compare Z-City to a smaller district like Ginza, which consists of about 215 acres. Okay. With the size of an average building in that district in mind, and thus scaling the building to the hideout and then to Ginza, we Jeez, found that Tatsumaki a lot of math. must be lifting a lot over of 3 billion tons of rock. That's like Sorry, I couldn't see the exact number, but like billion tons. Holy crap. Who passed Mach 35? When the alien invader because of Magnitude 9 earthquake. With a hailstorm of giant bullets, she was fast enough to stop them in midair and turn them back on the enemy ship. Scaling these bullets to the height of a human and gauging by the amount of damage they could cause, the bullets must have been moving 1,800 times faster than sound. She's tough enough to wow. survive an attack that's 300 times the Earth's gravity, which probably explains why she can push through crazy G-forces while flying and fighting against the One Punch Man himself, Saitama. By looking at wow. the distance they flew in such a short time frame, they were likely moving more than 36 times the speed of sound. Which is awesome, but she still didn't win the fight. It was actually a rather humbling experience for her, finally realizing that perhaps she isn't the most powerful person alive. Right. I mean, all espers have limits, including Tatsumaki. Their psychic power drains them of energy, so they can get worn out to a point where they can't do their psycho magic for a while. Also, she generally has to focus exclusively on either offense or defense. So when she's on the attack, her guard is lowered, something a skilled enough opponent can hmm. certainly take advantage of. Also, should an esper okay, like Tatsumaki suffer a serious head injury, their powers become more difficult to use. So maybe she's okay. not quite the unstoppable Because they said that Mob can specifically fight both offensively and defensively. She even let her sis hang out with her friends instead of throwing them into a wall or something. <laughs> Yet at the end of the day, okay, this the is idea hard. that anyone could even hope to match the Tornado of Terror's pure psychic power seems laughable. You disgust me. Get lost. Oh, I don't like her voice. What's with the attitude from this lost child? <laughs> this lost child. He's 28. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, well, this my sounded kind of bored with that. Are telling me that some of you are wrong. hungry. By now, you've okay. probably heard of Blue Ape. I'm going to try to make sure I don't overshoot. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? We're going to leave it here. Um, So, yeah. I don't know who to go for. They've said some things to me that, you know... I can see the reasoning that either of them would go for, you know, depending on who they pick. Like, if they, if they pick Tatsumaki, then it would be because that she's faster. Because she can, like make things fly what over 18 times the speed of sound and can fly yourself like 35 36 times the speed of sound whereas like mob could only go what was it five times the speed of sound Mach five like that's a pretty big difference but then you know in, in terms of like mob was able to crush um this thing like like this big these these buildings together in one big you know ball and you know, that was like, what, 30 gigatons of TNT? That's the 30 gigatons of force, something like that, in order to do that. Whereas they say that she lifted something, something billion tons of rock off the ground. Now, in terms of actually lifting all those skyscrapers, though, or all those buildings, that's something that they didn't really talk too much about. They just said it was like millions of tons of weight or something. But how much weight would it actually be? Because, like... I'm thinking, like, an average skyscraper weighs, I think, about, like, 200,000 tons. But even then, like, if it was, like, even if they weighed a million tons, then trying to make it to a billion tons would be 1,000 skyscrapers. And then, even then, you know, you need five times that amount because it's only about 200,000 tons. So that's, you know, I have to multiply it by five because it's a fifth of a million. So we're looking at 5,000 skyscrapers that would have to be in that ball in order for him to be lifting that much weight. And I don't think that he did that i don't think there's five thousand skyscrapers and there are five thousand buildings so that makes me want to say that tatsumaki is more powerful and faster in terms of durability they gave a number for mob they gave him like 80 tons or 83 tons of tnt 
as his durability. I don't know what they said for her durability, but then they're also talking about how, like, she can nullify some powers of, of other espers. I don't know if he's considered an esper, though. Like, obviously he's not, but, like, would, would he qualify for it? Because, like, it might be something along the lines of, you know, like, oh, only Soul Calibur could, could kill Soul Edge, but, or destroy Soul Edge, but, you know, Guts' sword Dragon Slayer exists on the, on the same plane, or a similar plane, so it could do the same. I don't know if they're gonna pull something like that, and they, they, they're really keeping it ambiguous, and honestly, I don't know whether or not I like that, because usually I'm inclined to say I don't like that kind of stuff, because I don't like it when they, you know, don't give too many numbers for everything, because then I don't know what to do, but for this, I actually kind of like like how you kind of have to make that guess. I don't know why I like that more so. Um, but I didn't really remember much about Tatsumaki's durability, as I said before, so I'm not sure about that. In terms of who's more versatile, I'd want to say Mob. I just think he had like a longer list of things, um, you know, on his on his sidebar, like more variety. Um, but then again, she can alter gravity. Like that's that's really good. You know, that could could that somewhat counter you know, his telekinesis, maybe, because gravity is a really powerful force, I, I think, <laughs> and, um, uh, but then they're saying, like, Mob can both attack and defend at the same time, but does that mean much if he can't hit her? I'm not sure, and she can make a bigger earthquake than he can, but she's got some of her own good abilities, I don't know, when they were talking about Mob, I thought, like, oh boy, I don't know how any, like, regular psychic is gonna be able to stand up to him, but, W judging by the numbers alone, it looks like Tatsumaki's just better. But I think he might be more versatile. And I think he might... But he's not more destructive, though. Because, again, like, she can make a bigger earthquake. But but then again, like, his earthquake, was that at the 100% level? Because what if they say, like, oh, yeah, all these feats were just at, like, when he's at this level. At 100%, he was able to do this or something. Or was, like, the 30 gigaton stuff, like, was that at 100%? I don't know. I'm really not sure who's going to win this one. Um, I'm just going to guess. I'm going to guess Tatsumaki. I'm going to say that she's faster. She's more powerful. I'm going to go out on a limb and say she's more durable. And I'm going to make a guess and say that they can find a way to say why she could shut down Mob's abilities. If she can't then I'm sure, like, they can back that up, too, unless they just say he wasn't an Esper, so yada, 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 I'm like, well, okay, fine, um, but I'm gonna go on a limb and say that they're, that she can shut down his abilities, could be completely wrong, if I am, hey, that's okay, let's go, I want, I'm really excited for this animation, and we actually have quite a bit of video left, so let's do this. Oh, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. What are you doing, dummy? Get out of here. Can you help me? Did you go to the middle school here? Middle school? Middle school. Know your place! Oh no. He's 14 though, so wouldn't he just be out of middle school? Or maybe just going out of middle school? <laughs> he just dusts himself off. You shouldn't use your powers on others. See, like, I, I watched this preview, like, I like this. This is this looks so good to me, my opinion. I still think Mob just has a better personality. Not even that, like, I love the pacifistic characters, or the pacifist characters, but she's just arrogant as hell. <laughs> just wait, though. Okay, don't, you don't have to wait any longer. Time to teach you a lesson. Dang, he looks creeped out. And that caught her off guard. Oh, ow. Bending in a weird way. Dang, he's going fast. Like Mach 5. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dang, Mob. And she's not out yet. If Mob ends up winning, I'm not going to be surprised. Oh, right, there's the shield. Whoa. Oh, does he just get crushed in between those? But I think he's surviving it, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. He's there already. I feel like the battle just started. But damn, that looks cool. 
You know, whether or not you guys like this kind of animation, I appreciate that they're doing something new. And I think everyone can appreciate that. That they're trying new things. Dang, nothing's phasing him. Oh, ow! Dude, this kid is, like, so cool. <laughs> and she's just taking all the hits. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, there's the meteor. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Is that him dying? Nobody beats me. Okay, that was him dying. <laughs> or that was her doing Whoa, something to him. Was crazy. I thought for okay. sure Mob would win I was right. Power. This was an incredibly close match. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if we were to run through this fight a hundred more times, Mob could reasonably win 40 or so of them. But we're yeah. here to find out who wins 40% of the time. Mob had tons of awesome abilities, which gave Tatsumaki a hard time. But right. she still has the stuff to pull off a win more times than not. Right. First of all, Tatsumaki had a notable advantage when it came to training and experience. She's a tough Didn't really consider that. who was trained from seven years but old. But that's a good a point. Who never wanted to use his powers in the first place. She was faster, too, given her reaction against Boros's bullets moving over 617,000 meters per second. Yeah. Sure, Mob reacted to friggin' lightning, but believe it or not, oh. that's still technically slower. See, a lightning bolt technically has two different speeds to consider. Okay. First for the slower leader of ionized air going down, and second for the faster flash going right. up. Right. I forgot given about this speed completely. Given that was reacting to a projectile moving down towards him, this can only mean he was reacting to the leader, which moves 98,000 meters per second. More than right. Six times slower than that's Tatsumaki. that's much slower so than the return the stroke. Of being able to attack and defend at the same time, Although, Tatsumaki... to be fair, I feel like if I had if I had remembered that feat, I would have leaned more to him saying it was fast that uh, that he was faster. So I'm actually really ha happy I forgot about that feat. Which moves ninety eight thousand meters per second, more than six times slower than Tatsumaki. So even yeah. though Mob had the edge of being able to attack and defend at the same time. Tatsumaki was a lot quicker than him, so she could switch between attacking and defending fast enough to counter Mob whenever she really needed to. Yeah. Still, that alone doesn't mean Mob couldn't have eventually scored a fatal blow. All of this would mean nothing if Tatsumaki couldn't overpower Mob's absorbing shield. His awesome power of suck! R right, we know oh, Mob's yeah. uh, sucking shield had a limit given how he was forced to transfer absorbed energy into those seeds, growing a massive head of broccoli in an instant. We can actually use this broccoli to get a general idea of Mob's absorbing Oh, limits. really? Broccoli typically requires 143 kilojoules of energy to grow one-tenth of a kilogram's worth. Scaling oh, this wow. giant one to the nearby buildings, we found it to be 21 million times larger than the average broccoli. This means Mob okay. must have transferred enough energy to equate to about 1.6 megatons of TNT. Yeah, but how about the energy Tatsumaki used to stop and redirect those giant bullets? Those things are huge, solid shells with no explosive component, given how Saitama here was able to crush one without triggering a big kaboom. And they could wipe out a whole city. We're shown that the shells destroyed most of City A in one shot. And we can see how much damage they dealt to Boros' ship when Tatsumaki turned them around. With okay. this data in mind, the height of Boros' ship and the already calculated bolt speed, we determined the energy she displayed here must have equaled at least 470 gigatons of TNT. And that's the next unit Way over, more too. Than Mob's big cloud feet. And more than enough to shatter his shield all at once. Tatsumaki was just too damn powerful. And it's not like Mob could absorb giant rocks thrown at him, either. Certainly. Mob's unique powers were generally passive and defensive, whereas Tatsumaki's were better suited to precision strikes and deadly blows. Right. Once Mob's barrier was down, she had plenty of options for wrapping things up, whether it be blocking his psychic power, controlling his chi, or simply crushing him herself. And her powers okay. weren't dependent on her feelings, so she was always at full strength, no matter what the situation was. Mob certainly had the That's skill and ability to put up an incredible. Did they bring up fight. anything about how he can nullify her, his power, or she can nullify his powers? Power put an end to this prodigious battle. Because that was one of the she big reasons I thought she was going to win. She needed. The winner Maybe I missed it. Tatsumaki. I don't know, but yeah, yeah I was right. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching this episode of hey, Death ben. Battle. If you want the battle music for yourself, you can get by clicking the link down below, and you can check out more. And now stuff let's right look at the there. next one. I have no idea what it is. Season without Deadpool, oh. right? Without Deadpool, right? Without Deadpool, right? Hey, Boomstick.
Yeah, Wiz. I think I might know a way to get rid of Deadpool once and for all. Who the heck is that? Deadpool versus Mask? That's the next one? So, is this gonna be something where, like, they're trying to kill Deadpool? Like, they want to get rid of Deadpool? Like, is, is it gonna be, like, a, a constant bias throughout the entire... The, throughout the entire episode? Oh, man. That actually could be really funny. I don't know anything about the mask, I've or about mask. I've never seen the movie, um, even though I, I really want to. Uh, but I'm assuming he's, he's very similar to Deadpool. Um... But in order to kill Deadpool, you gotta kill, like, every cell in his body. And, like, I don't know if this is gonna be another joke fight. Like, is he just gonna end up befriending him like he did with... Sorry, like he did with Pinkie Pie? I have no idea. I actually kind of wish I knew more about Mask because I would... I would love to make a prediction for this, but I really know nothing about him. So, yeah, that's me there. Um, I get I'm excited for it. You know, obviously I still like regular fights more than the than the kind of the jokier ones. I don't know if this is really a joke fight. Um, and is this going to be the last one before the season finale? I'm not sure, because it says November 27th. And then the next one would be like in the middle of December. And that's usually when they stop, right? So there, this would either be the second to last or the third to last one, I think. Unless they're doing something different with their seasons. Uh, regardless, um, let's talk about the actual fight. So... First, let's, let's talk about the animation, because I know that's something I really want to talk about. The animation was so good. I don't know if you guys like that animation or not, or, like, if it's something you're into, but for me, I appreciated that animation so much. It looked so good. As, a, as the criticism I have for most battles, I would have preferred it to be a little longer, especially since you went to, like, you went to 100 and then went to question mark, question mark, question mark percent so fast. And I'm thinking, like, okay, whenever they do this, the fight is not going to last much longer. And I was, and at the end, you know, I wasn't really sure who was going to win, but when Tatsumaki did put the meteor on him or whatever, it very much felt like, you know, oh, so, you know, he's got the upper hand on her and then she just does one thing and then he's dead. Like, it, and yes, that does, they did kind of subvert my expectations because usually with the winner, like they had, they have them winning for a little bit and then they have the killing blow, but I usually like that. <laughs> so, you know, it's okay. Um, it, it did subvert my expectations, and I understand what they were doing there, that, you know, Mob thought he was going to survive that, and it, it kind of looked like, you know, maybe he was able to take that, and that was the whole point, but then, you know, you have him on the ground, and he died. So, yeah, I was happy I got it right. I was I was happy that, you know, I got it right that her power was more impressive, although they didn't provide the feat that um that they were compared or they didn't they didn't calculate a feat that they were comparing it to so i don't really know what to say about that um and in terms of speed i was able to get that correct although i completely forgot about the lightning thing but that's on me um but again you know that wouldn't have even helped him because it's slower just the whole uh step ladder thing uh not the return stroke uh, but, uh, yeah, and then in terms of durability, did they talk much about durability? They talked about how she was able to get past his durability and his shield, so that made sense, and they went over some other feats that they didn't mention before, um, so I do kind of feel like there was enough information for me to figure stuff out, even if they didn't give all the feats, and I like that a lot, I like it way more than the fights where they don't give enough information, like, at all where you can't come to any conclusion based off of anything, really. So I'm happy that they did that, because, you know, I like feeling smart. Uh, but, yeah, and then in, in terms of, uh, I guess he's not, you know, um, he's not able to be have his power shut down or whatever, which is fine. But that was a big part of my reasoning, so if I knew from the get-go that, that she wasn't going to be able to do it, and if I remembered the whole stepladder, th or the whole lightning bolt thing, and I didn't think of the stepladder thing... I probably would have gone for mobs, so everything just worked out perfectly for me to go for Tatsumaki, so, yeah, I guess I'm happy about that, um, so overall, I thought the analyses were fairly funny, although for me, the big standout in this was the animation, even if I have some little problems with it, um, and, yeah, the, they were pretty informative for me, I still felt like they could have done a little bit better, a little bit better job with mob, just because I wasn't really sure, like, uh, I didn't really feel like I knew all of his capabilities, Whereas for, um, 
uh, for Tatsumaki, I felt like I knew a little more about, like, her, her generally. I think it's because there was just the whole sidebar thing, and I didn't really pick up on all of it, and they didn't really go over each one, or even just list them verbally, so that might, that could be it. Uh, regardless, though, I thought this was a pretty well-put-together episode. I'm happy I was right, even if it was for the wrong reasons. Some of that's on me, some of that's, I feel it's on them, but that's okay. Um, and... Yeah, overall solid episode. Animation was the biggest standout for me. But what did you guys think about it? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Who do you think should have won? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd really like to hear what you have to say. And if you like this video, please give this video a like. I always appreciate the, I always appreciate the likes. Um, there's a link in the description of the original video, so make sure you go check that out. And if you guys could, could subscribe to my channel, that'd be so great. That would really help my channel out. But no matter what you do, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And that's it for me. I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hopefully this gets uploaded to YouTube too. Fingers crossed.